beautiful night to kick off the Ohio High School football season. It's kickoff Friday night. Coming to you from Arango, Ohio, a special kickoff edition as the Centerburg Trojans, the 2022 KMAC champs, host the team that gave them their only regular season loss, Utica. Can the Trojans get some payback here on opening night? We'll find out on your smartphone, TV, PC, tablet, any smart device you have. And it's coming your way next. Having Frito-Lay variety packs is a lot like having kids. You get a lot of flavor packed into small packages, and it's impossible to pick a favorite. Whoa! Yeah, definitely impossible to pick a favorite. Frito-Lay variety packs, packed with possibilities. At Knox Community Hospital, your primary care physician is more than someone who delivers your test results, more than someone who writes prescriptions, more than someone who listens to your heart. We are your healthcare partner who takes the time to know you, listen to your concerns, and provide you with expert personalized care to make and keep you well. Because to us, you're more than just numbers on a chart, you're a neighbor and a friend. Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for the community. Welcome you inside the Webb's Marathon and Automotive pregame show for this opening night matchup between the Centerburg Trojans and the Utica Redskins. Hello everybody, my name is Travis Berardi alongside a new member of the OH Report family. If you've ever been to a Northmore football game the last few years, you'd hear him over the PA assisted system, Ken Pert. Welcome into the booth, Ken, and we should be in for a good one tonight. Centerburg, the KMAC champs, had one loss in the regular season, and that was week one to this Utica squad. Thank you, Travis. Really excited to get the season started. Mother Nature's blessed us with a little taste of fall, and it just feels like football. It does. Uh, last couple of years, I'm, I'm used to baking like an oven inside the press box at Centerburg, but uh, tonight it's a beautiful night for football. We're here at Highland High School in Orango. Uh, they had some issues with the field at Centerburg. Mike Delaney and the folks here in the athletic department at Highland were gracious enough to allow them to play here tonight on this beautiful field, Centerburg. They've also played on this field once in a scrimmage against Upper Sandusky, so they know how the field is. Let's get right into tonight's pregame show and take a look at the away team first. The Utica Redskins out of the Licking County Con Cardinal Conference finished 3-7 and seven last season. Three of those losses by only one score. Uh, their last winning season, though, 2010. Well, they went 6-4. and four. However, this season they returned 12 seniors, and they think this could be a special year for them. Should be an exciting evening to watch how they adjust to uh, Centerburg's obviously wanting to avenge last year's loss. Could be a lot of pressure there to handle that. Yes, and one of the uh, main players that are going to try and do that, Justin Giffen, the senior running back. 376 yards on 84 carries last se season, four touchdowns. He also had 21 receptions for 151 yards. So uh, they're going to probably rely on him tonight with their run game. And now we take a look 
at the Centerberg Trojans who are getting ready to take the field. They will receive the ball to start here in about a minute's time. So let's take a look at their team spotlight. They are the 2022 KMAC champions. They finished 9-2 overall, 7-0 in the conference. A tough loss on opening night of the postseason to Columbus Academy, 36-14. They graduated eight se seniors, including all Ohioans, Tyler Johnson, Big John Geiger up front, and Mason Lanthorne on the defense. However, they do return eight starters on offense and defense. So they, they're they a team that can be ready to do some things this season. I'm hearing a lot of great things about Keelan Lamaster. He's not, not a big kid, but uh, very agile and uh, gets a lot of yards for him. Last season, 146 carries, 1,184 yards and 10 touchdowns, 18 catches for 182, so he can also make some big plays out there as well. As we are just about ready to go here from Highland High School in Marengo. Just about ready to go here to kick things off. Logan Fisher ready to kick things away. And it's a little bit of a pooch punt. Going to be caught by Carson Ross at about the 36-yard line. And that is where the Trojans of Centerburg will start as we take a look at their offensive starters. Brought to you once again by Webb's Marathon and Automotive. Jesse Rings comes from the wide receiver position into the the offensive position now, the quarterback from running wide receiver, Kalen and Master, the big play rusher there. Sewell, Harris, and Tursky, as well as Hankinson, the main players. First down and 10, brought to you by Home and Kitchen Supply. Rings, oh, fumbles the snap, and he's gonna get hit in the backfield. Not the start you want. No for Centerberg after a good field position start. A little bit of nerves there. Shake it off. So that'll bring up second down and long. It's about 15 total. Oh, more than that, 17. So second down and long. Quick throw on the outside. Oh, what nice a catch. catch. Nice catch. That's Mason Tursky. It'll bring up third down, but now third and manageable as we take a look at the Monarch Title Services replay. One-handed catch just beyond the 35 to the 37. Just about got everything back, so it'll be third down and 10 for the Trojans. Rings takes the snap, rolling right, looking, looking. Room. He's going to hold on to it, and he's going to get close to the first down. We're going to get a flag, maybe a late hit out of bounds. We'll have to see, but it's going to be short of the line to gain. Nonetheless, we'll have to wait for the referee's call as we take a look at the replay. There's a marker on the field. Personal foul, and that's going to go against Centerberg. Oh. See if we can see that on the that. replay. It's not what I was expecting. Oh, it's going to be a block. That's going to be against Isaiah Sewell, a crackback block. Ah. Hit him behind. We saw that last night in the Calvert game as well. So it'll back things up. It'll be fourth down after the play, and the Trojans are going to have to punt this one away. No, replay down. Replay down. Oh, okay, down. they did have yep. it. Okay. Yep. So they did have it fourth down. Now they do yep. have it on third down. Takes the snap. Rings. Looking to his left, 
looking still. He's going to let it go, and it's going to be Nothing incomplete. Well, well covered. Intended for Tursky, and now it will be fourth down. Wasn't a lot of targets on that play, and he was well covered. So it will bring up fourth down. Unfortunately, we never got a chance to see LeMaster run with the situation that uh, Centerberg was given on all those downs. So the Trojans on their first possession will have to punt it away and nearly oh, blocked. Oh, here comes a flag. And they're going to get – there is no running into the kicker here in – Ohio High School football. So this is going to be a first down for the Trojans, a roughing the kicker. Another gift. First game of the year, but you got to be more disciplined than that. Absolutely. And here's the call. That's a bunch. Well, they actually they declined it, so it was not a personal oh, foul. Okay. And the ball will go over to Utica. Okay, I'm confused. So he didn't grab it must it. have been a, a hold or something well, else did, that he didn't. He didn't grab his flag until contact was made with the kicker. Let's take a look at the offensive starters for Utica, brought to you by Webb's. Marathon in automotive, led by Hayden Piper. Justin Griffin, Giffen as well. Oh, slips. And he's going to slip up. Actually, it was a fake. But nonetheless, nothing there. Nothing there. It'll be second down as we take a look at the replay. That was Tyler Kalora. It'll bring up second down and long. So both teams having trouble here on their first play. Fakes the throw. It's going to be a handoff to Giffen. Nothing doing there. It's going to bring up third down and a long nine for the Redskins. can tell it's opening night for both offenses. Absolutely. Takes the snap, looking right, and contact yeah. before the catch. That's going to be interference. Unfortunately. Just a little too early there. Yep. Let's show you on the replay. He did a good job playing the ball, but he had to go around him to get to the ball, and that's where the contact was made. So that'll bring up an automatic first down and move the ball all the way out to the Centerberg 41-yard line. It'll be a home and kitchen supply first down. I formation too wide to the right. Oh, and it was a miscommunication yeah. there and a big loss. Wow. Wow. Hayden Piper thought his running back was on the opposite side. Giffen actually was on the right side. He went left, and that was disastrous from the start. Bring up second down and long. This time you will give it to Giffen and Centerberg. They're all over. It's going to be another loss on the play. It'll bring up third down. So a defensive battle here to start as we hit 8.30 left here in the opening quarter. 
I've got a total offense of negative six yards so far. The lone first down by Utica came via the penalty. Third and long. It's a quick throw to Giffen. Breaks one tackler, but he's taken down from behind. Nice job by Carson Ross. That'll bring up fourth down as we take a look at the Monarch title replay. Bubble screen. He was able to avoid one tackler, but Ross brings him down with the shoestring. Going to bring up fourth and a bunch. Snap away. It's a high kick taken by Miles Mitchell along the right uh -oh. side. Has a bit of an opening. He runs out of bounds, bounds but yep. Centerberg. Another great start here to their drive on this home and kitchen supply first down. We'll take a look at the replay right here. In my correction, it was Mason Tursky. Sun's a little bit glaring right now yep. on the jerseys, Ken, but yep. Tursky gets the Trojans into business. Unfortunately, he lost his balance because he had some room to go yet. Let's see if Centerberg's got their... Uh, Nerves calm down here a little bit and start running the offense like they're, they're taught to. We'll see if uh, Mr. LeMaster yeah. gets in on this. Yep, I'm sure. It's going to be a little bit spread offense, though, right here yep. for Jesse Rings. Man in motion, that's Trevin Harris. It's going to be a reverse. Kalen Master He's does have it across the 40. The 35 cuts back, nice and that's play. close to a first down. Trickery here for the Trojans. Harris, and then they gave it off to LeMaster with Jesse Rings up there blocking. Allows him to get an extra yard or two. It'll bring up second down and less than one. Nice little nine-yard carry there. Hand off, LeMaster cuts back across the 30, the 25, and down to the 20. Yeah. And it will be a home and kitchen supply first down. First down, Trojans. As LeMaster has the Trojans a yard from the red zone. First and 10 from the 21. LeMaster gets it Nothing this time, but this he time. is swarmed yeah. by a host. LeMaster on the carry, tackle by Burgess. But as predicted, they've uh, gone back to their tried to uh, reliable and they're marching down the field. Loss of one on the plate will bring up second down and 11 from the 22. Just underway here from Marengo. Second possession for the Trojans. Rings looking for the quick hitter left side. Fakes it. He's still looking. Does oh. dish it off. A bit of contact there, but not enough to warrant any penalty flags. It'll be third down and long. Tried to force that one. You see, juked out the defensive end, was able to throw it off, but just off the mark there, intended for Hankinson. Third down. Still spread. Throws it in collision. No flag on the play. They both got there at the same time. It's going to be a fourth down play. And a, you got to think this is four down territory, Ken. Definitely. Kudos to the offensive line there. He had plenty of time to try to find a target. Just couldn't connect. So it'll be fourth down and 11 for the Trojans. Three wide to the left. LeMaster, sidecar left. Rings, takes the snap. LeMaster in as an extra blocker, does block. Still looking down, throws it in the end zone. Oh, he slipped. But Harris slips up, and it'll be a turnover on downs as we take a look at the replay. It was the right play. It was the right throw, but Harris, his momentum was taking him towards the left side. The throw went back right, and I don't know even if he's able to cut back without slipping. Will he make it? Yeah. It'll be a turnover on downs and a home and kitchen supply first down for Utica. 
But, Ken, you saw there the Trojans, they had a little bit something going, and thanks to Kalen LeMaster there. Definitely, definitely. A little bit safer plays to call, and uh, it was working for them. Take a look at the Centerburg defense here after this play. Snap back, and great job. That's Hankinson with the stop. No gain on the play on the quarterback keeper. Moose Hankinson. <laughs> Moose. Speaking of nicknames, Big John Geiger, all Ohioan watching on YouTube. Thanks for watching, buddy. Let's go, Senator. Beat Utica. Good to see you watching. Hope college is treating you well or whatever you're doing. If it's a job or anything else, hope you're doing well out there, John. Another run, right side, and Giffen. Ball's taken out. Centerberg's got it. Oh Touchdown, my. Jesse Rings. Oh it's my. a strip six. Scoop and score. Centerberg scores first. Six nothing. Let's take a look at the replay. I totally missed it. I put my head down because I thought the play was over. He was being brought down, but you saw he was still in the air. Got it stripped out. His Incredible. momentum was still going forward. Incredible. And rings right there to pick it up and take it in for the score. Trojan strike first here with 5-10 left in the opening quarter. That was all Big John Geiger for you. Watch it on the YouTube. Daniel LeMaster will be on for the extra point. Don't know what was being discussed, thus. We're back at it, ready for the extra point. Snap down, LeMaster gets it away, and it is good. 5-10 nice. left here, opening quarter. Trojans lead at 7 and nothing. We'll take a break. At Knox Community Hospital, your primary care physician is more than someone who delivers your test results, more than someone who writes prescriptions, more than someone who listens to your heart. We are your health care partner who takes the time to know you, listen to your concerns, and provide you with expert personalized care to make and keep you well. Because to us, you're more than just numbers on a chart. You're a neighbor and a friend. Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for the community. Back here in Marengo, Centerberg with a defensive scoop and score lead. It's seven to nothing. Travis Brody back here with Ken Parrott and big plays like that. That's how you win games, especially early on in the season. Well, it's going to be a big momentum shift for for Centerberg for sure. It's got the crowd into it now, and uh, definitely excitement and momentum's on their side right now. Let's see how uh, Utica responds. LeMaster. Ready to kick this away, and he does. It'll be taken by Gavin oh, Chen. He muffs oh, it. Oh. Ball's on the ground. Oh, Centerberg yeah. might got it. They do. Back-to-back oh. -back fumbles has the Trojans oh. back in business. You take a look at the replay, and from the start, disastrous. And on this turf here at Marengo, the ball's going to bounce further away than bounce. it is at Centerberg. Yep. So a little home away from home field advantage for the Trojans. But it rains, it pours, unfortunately. Here's the defensive starters for Utica. They did get a big stop last time Centerberg had the ball in this territory. And now we'll get a timeout from the Trojans. Utica. Or Utica actually will take a timeout, but... Take a look one more time at that replay, Ken. And like I said, this turf, it bounces a little bit more than on natural grass. And Yeah, you can just see that unfolding. And you got to think also, 
the way Centerberg decided to receive, so Yuka decided to kick away from the Sun. The Sun's just in the eyes of that receiver. Yeah, it's going down beyond yeah. beyond their eye, eye line, yeah, so that, that might have helped in the fumble and maybe a little you know, a little mistake by the coaches by Utica not to good point. play uh, the play away from right. the sun instead of into Especially it. Especially the first three or four games this season when you have later later sunset. It's something you got to take into consideration. want to welcome everybody watching live and free this evening on Facebook and YouTube. Let us know where you're watching from. Give us a shout out. We'll shout you out. Uh, Michael, they're at Highland because of some field issues at Centerburg. Uh, they had to replace some of the turf, so they're waiting for that. They're hoping to be able to play next week when they host Ontario. Home and Kitchen Supply first down for Jesse Rings, who scored on the scoop and score. Delayed handoff, LeMaster across the 20, down to the 18. Give him about four yards. Second down and manageable. And now we'll have to have a Utica player go off due to losing his helmet. That's Dylan Coop rider, but for the Trojans, it'll bring up second down. Lamaster in the eye behind rings, one wide to the left, one to the right. It's going to be a handoff. Uh -oh. Lamaster avoids one tack. No, it's a keeper by rings. That's that what they've been working on all year. Well, especially, at least in the summer, Ken, is that read option. And Rings and LaMaster are already, like Tyler Johnson had with him, where he's able to keep it in the breadbasket until the last absolute second, had causing that defensive end to commit. Yeah, had us all fooled there for a little bit. So that'll bring up third down in about three. Rings takes the snap. It's going to be a screen. Lamaster has it the oh, 20. He has a blockers. convoy. 15, 10, 5. Pater touchdown. Trojans. Nice play. That was a beautiful play. If you want to know how to run a perfect exactly. screen play, exactly. watch this replay yep. right here. Executed to perfection, Ken. As you yep. take a look at the Monarch Title Services yep. replay. Everybody came. Three blockers. Rings waited for the last second, yep. and Lamaster with the convoy gets in for six. Beautiful. Just like that, two fumbles, two scores, all momentum now for Centerberg. Snap down, extra point up, and it is good. Quick strike. 351 remaining here in the opening quarter. Centerberg leads it 14 to nothing. We'll be back. How long was that last play? So just like that, an 18-yard touchdown reception, a perfectly executed screen pass to Kalen LeMaster, his first score of the season, the second for the Trojans. They lead it 14-0 over Utica. Travis Berardi alongside Ken Parrott here from Marengo. As LeMaster punts this, kicks this one away, and this time it's taken by Giffen, who's back there to take it. Jukes a little bit and gets back up to the 20-yard line. Nice coverage. And that's where we will introduce the starting defense for the Trojans, led by lineman Alloway, Sergeant, and Anderson, linebackers, Hankinson, Ross, Merklin, and LeMaster. Then you have Rings, Harris, Tursky, and Marshall out there as well. A lot of two-way players out there, Ken, but this is high school football in Ohio. You gotta be used to doing that. Sure, especially with the smaller schools. Something you expect to happen. It's a home and kitchen supply first down. Can Utica finally get something going here on this possession? They're going to need to. Snap right back. Piper takes it himself, and he's maybe going to get 
a yard or two. It'll bring up second down. That interior line from Centerburg really doing a good job today. That's something that they were unable to contain against Columbus Academy one year ago in the playoffs. But, you know, those are things that you can build on. They face Columbus Academy also in their second scrimmage after scrimmaging Upper Sandusky. Handoff right side. Nice That's tackle. Go to Tyler Calora, nice tackle. And he's hitting the backfield. Third down and Centerburg showing they can tackle in the open field here in the first quarter. And that's a beautiful play by LeMaster, the linebacker. That's a classic example of staying low and hitting the target low and uh, big guys will fall when you hit them low. Doesn't matter how big the player is, if you, like you said, if you get them low underneath the bread basket, trip them up, it's just as good as wrapping somebody up in a big hit. It's actually better sometimes in a big hit. Utica forced the pass, throws across, and it's going to be caught. Nice play. Logan Fisher will get the home kitchen and supply first down. The offensive line that time for Utica doing its job, giving Piper plenty of time, and he threw it exactly where he needed to to get the conversion there by Fisher. It's the second first down by Utica. And a little bit of business for them. Quick pass to Gavin Chin. Fakes one tackler. Gets to the 35, out to the 36. Nice juke. Couple yards on the play. Brings up second down and manageable. Coming up on two minutes left here. Opening quarter on the Centerburg point scoreboard. Maybe Utica's starting to get a little bit comfortable with the situation and uh, settle in their own and... Running, running a decent offense here. Now, 14 nothing may seem like a ton, but if they can just score here, remember, they do get the ball out of the half as well. We Correct. still have a quarter as well to think about that. Chin gets this flip left side. He's going to get a first down. Finally get taken out of bounds by Rings. And we have a uh -oh. injured Trojan back on the play. It will be a home and kitchen supply first down, and this doesn't look good. So we take a look at the replay. And that was a nice run by Chin to get 14 yards on the run. One forty left here in the opening quarter. We're going to take a break and be right back here. Trojans lead this 14-0. Knox Community Hospital, your primary care physician is more than someone who delivers your test results, more than someone who writes prescriptions, more than someone who listens to your heart. We are your health care partner who takes the time to know you, listen to your concerns, and provide you with expert personalized care to make and keep you well. Because to us, you're more than just numbers on a chart, you're a neighbor and a friend. Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for the community. Injured player on the field was Charlie Sargent. He had to be helped off. Looked like a knee injury. Hopefully it wasn't too serious. As we resume play, reversed handoff taken, and there's nothing doing there. That'll bring up second down and 10. That's Kalora. There's a little bit of that Lucas Cubs offense. Giffen got it at first, but handed it back to Kalora. Centerberg coached up well on that. Andy Coella, he does a very good job. Him and his coaching staff, they have their players ready to compete night in and night out. Front line is doing their job tonight so far. Second and ten. 
It's going to be a keeper by Piper. He's trying to get up to the middle, maybe get two yards, but it will be third down and about eight. The quarterback draw, and once again, really, Utica hasn't been able to do anything between the tackles. No, nope. I was just going to say the, their big runs have been on the outsides. That's been it. They officially gave him three, so third and seven. Piper looking oh. to pass, and he just tripped oh. up. And it'll bring up fourth down. Let's see who helped out on that play here on the Monarch Title Services replay as we get the 20 seconds left in the first. And he just slipped him. The 40-yard line tackled him. Now you got a punt. That's just bad luck here as things get worse for Utica. They won't have to snap it, though as we have come to the end of the first quarter. We played one at Marengo. Trojans lead it 14-0 live and free on the OH Report. Are you ready for the comeback? At Knox Community Hospital, your primary care physician is more than someone who delivers your test results, more than someone who writes prescriptions, more than someone who listens to your heart. We are your healthcare partner who takes the time to know you, listen to your concerns, and provide you with expert personalized care to make and keep you well. Because to us, you're more than just numbers on a chart, you're a neighbor and a friend. Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for the community. Back to action as Utica punts it away and a big kick and return stopped by the Redskins. It's never a good situation when the ball bounces over your head on that punt. Well, the turf giveth, the turf taketh <laughs> exactly. away for Centerberg here. Exactly. You know, if you don't, you don't play on it every day, that's just something you don't think about. That's true. It helped them at first. Yeah. Started their own seven. This would be impressive to make this 93 yard drive here. First and 10 Trojans. It's gonna be a handoff to LeMaster and he's gonna get swarmed in the backfield. That's gonna be a loss of two and it'll bring up second down as we take a look at the replay. Three guys all over. Yeah, that was just a full linebacker blitz to bring up second down. So second and long. Rings trying to pass out of his end zone. He will, and I don't think that Tursky was able to keep his feet in bounds as he caught that. It'll bring up third down. And, yeah, he had to jump as he made the catch, and when he came down, he was out of bounds. Right call by the referees here with 11-16 left in the half. And now for Centerberg, they need to get something here, at least some yardage, or they're going to be backed into the back of the end zone for a punt. You know, in all reality, Utica's defense is doing a pretty good job. I mean, the two turnovers have been the factor so far. Handoff, LeMaster across the five, up to the 10, still on his feet, 15, 20, 25, it's a first down. Big play for Kalen LeMaster as he gets. As soon as I said that. 20 yards on the carry. <laughs> <laughs> Big run. 
out to the 26. Even if they actually a 22 yard carry. Yeah, even if they don't score in this possession, that's a huge in the battle in uh, field position. That is a home and kitchen supply first down. That's trestle ball there. Somebody move. Yep. Flag on the play. So that'll back them up five yards. But nonetheless, it's still a first down for the Trojans. Oh. Hand off LeMaster. Has a hole, 40-45 midfield. Taken down right at the midfield stripe. 27-yard run. I just bragged on the Utica defense that they give up 50 yards in two plays. So first and 10 from the 49. That'll be a loss of one. It'll bring up second down. Rock on the carry, second by so second down. <laughs> and 11. Throw left in and out of the hands of Mason Tursky. I think he was turning upfield just a little too soon there. That'll bring up third down and 12. Big throw down the side. It is in and out and picked oh, off. Nice hands. Gavin Tussie reverses field, gets up to the 35, and that's where. A little bit of tip drill action going on there. Utica needed that. So the first turnover, the second turnover. No, the third. I'm losing count. Third turnover of the day, first by Centerberg. Yes. Gives Utica some life. There wasn't much rush on that play. It looks like they collapsed everybody to play a little bit of prevent defense there, and it uh, worked out for them. First and 10 from the 35. Quick hitter, right side. That's caught across the 35, 40 to the 41. Anthony Roeninger with the catch and another home and kitchen supply first down. They actually, they, it was six yards. I'm all out of sorts here. It's game one for me too. Right. <laughs> 8.52 left here, opening quarter. Fakes the handoff. Piper across the middle, and then he slides across midfield. Picks up the first down. Plenty. Ten yards on the run. And there is the home and kitchen supply. First down as you take a look at the Monarch Title Services replay. So once again, Utica back in business here. 8.19 left in the half. Viper will hand it to Giffen. Giffen fights his way across the 45, close to the 40. He'll get down to the 42-yard line. Nice example of keeping your feet, legs moving, and he gained, gained another three or four yards, that extra effort. Give him seven on the carry. 
Be second and three. I also want to give a shout out to my buddy K Mac Plus, who's following us tonight. He's down on the field giving us some cool views. So go on over on Instagram, the K Mac Plus, see how we're doing. Second and three. Handoff Giffen, left side, and he's going to fight his way to the 40. Give him two yards, but still going to be short by a yard, third down. Giffen on the carry, tackled by. Third down and one. Utica showing they're not rattled by the score, which is good. Third and one. He's going to keep it, and he will He's have enough it. for a first down. He needed one. He got two. Another home and kitchen supply first down for Piper. Ball now inside the 40 to the 38. And like I said, Utica gets the ball to start the second half. So if they can punch it in here, they'll be feeling pretty good. Centerberg, though, if they can get a stop and get some of that momentum back. Piper hands it off to Giffen one more time. And this time he'll get three, bring up second down. Utica front line did a really good job of uh, creating a hole for those guys to sneak through and, and uh, grind out three or four at a time. Second down and seven. Handoff left side just tripped up. Was Brandon Thornsbury. It looked like he had an open field but we'll see who had the shoestring tackle on him right there. And that was Kalen LeMaster. Thornberry on the carry, tackled by LeMaster. Two yards, could have been about 20. It's third down. And you got to think this is four down territory. Definitely. definitely. 5.20 on a running second quarter clock. Just a reminder also as the handoff's taken. Tripped up again by LeMaster. He's going to be short by three He's yards. By we'll bring up fourth down. Bring up fourth down but at the, the reminder at the half, for stay tuned for the halftime band show of both bands. As well as the Webb's Marathon halftime. That's coming up at the break. But we still have a little bit of football and a big fourth First down here seasons, for fourth Utica. For well, Sederberg's got to be thinking pass here, but we'll see what uh, Utica draws up. They're going to talk it over. And a timeout. We'll take one with them. 435 left here in the first half. Centerberg still leads. 14-0. At Knox Community Hospital, your primary care physician is more than someone who delivers your test results, more than someone who writes prescriptions, more than someone who listens to your heart. We are your health care partner who takes the time to know you, listen to your concerns, and provide you with expert personalized care to make and keep you well. Because to us, you're more than just numbers on a chart. You're a neighbor and a friend. Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for the community. Four thirty five left in the half, fourth down in four for Utica as they use their, I believe, second time out of the half. I've got Piper down as being perfect three for three so far, so let's see what they do After here. That short commercial break, fourth and third for fourth and three for the Redskins. Three wide to the right for Piper. 
Kalura closely to the left, oh, and he's going to take the handoff, it. and he's going to get the first down into the red zone, nice down call. to the 15. That's a nice call. 17 yards and a home and kitchen supply, first down. Everybody expected a pass. And, uh, Kalura was bunched to the left, yeah. the lone oh, bunch yeah. player there, and it was just a sweep Nice. right yeah. back, yeah. well-designed, a good use of the timeout, and it will give Utica the ball 15 yards away from their first score of the season. First down and 10 from the 15. They can get one more first down at the 5. I formation. Thornsbury and Giffen. It's going to be a handoff to Giffen, and he is not going anywhere. Maybe a yard they're going to give him, but it will bring up second down and 9. Under four to play in the half. 14-0 Centerberg on the Centerberg point scoreboard. Fakes the handoff to Giffen, looking left to pass, throws it into the end zone, and it is oh, intercepted! Jesse Rings is doing it all today! Tip drills everywhere, folks. That's the fourth time in the last two days we've ever seen a tip drill touchdown or interception. The third Utica turnover is costly. Probably. We'll take a look at the replay probably. here in a moment. Yeah, probably wasn't the best choice there, making that pass attempt. Well covered. Multiple guys there in the corner. And that was all rings. He tipped it up to himself over the head of Chin. And it's first down and 10 for the Trojans with 319 left from their 20. It's gonna be a pitch right to LeMaster. Cuts outside across the 25. Give him the 26, a gain of six. It'll bring up second down and four. Second and four, another pitch right to LeMaster. He's going to get upended at the 29. Give him three. It'll be third down and short. If it isn't broke, it ain't broke, don't fix exactly. it. Exactly. Back-to-back -back pitch is right. Totals nine yards. It's third down and one. Hand off right side. LeMaster has the first down and more across the 40 up to the 43. Nice run. And it's another home and kitchen oh, supply nice first run. down. Tripped up by Fisher. First down, Trojans. Big run there by LeMaster. 14 yards on the carry. Right back to LeMaster, across the 45, 50, and he's still on his feet across down to the 45. Give him 11, actually 12. It's another first down. Excellent effort first on that play. Down, so a minute ago, you're looking at scoring and going in at halftime, hopefully down 14-7, and now you're looking at a possibility of being down 21-0. Give me a dagger. Snap back. And this time the handoff's going to be eaten up. Yes, yeah, 70 was unblocked. Three yards behind the play. It'll be a loss of three second down as we go under two minutes left in the half. Somebody missed their assignment.
Quick throw right side, tipped. And out of the hands of Hankinson will bring a third down. Rings just pressured a little too much there. Couldn't get a good throw off. And it's third and long at the 48. They're going to talk it over. And Centerberg will take a timeout. We'll take one with them. 110 left in the half. Trojans by 14. Trojans face with the third down and 13 from the Utica 48 here with 70 seconds left in the half. Travis Berardi alongside Ken Parrott. Three wide to the left for rings. He's going that way, looking, looking. He's going to go downfield, has a man for a second, and that's going to be a flag, and yes, because he was not allowed to come back. Tursky did exactly what he needed to do in that situation. It's an underthrown ball. The defender is not facing the ball. You run right back into him, and it doesn't matter if you have your hand up or not. He's still pushing him backwards, and that's going to be 15 yards yep. and a first down. So once again, Centerberg with a big play on third or fourth down keeps this drive alive. As they head down to the 38 with a minute one left. Well, as that play developed, he had the receiver had his man beaten by a couple steps early on, but uh, Piper had to roll out there. Or excuse me, Rings had to roll out there and, and uh, get some time, and and uh, he just outran the arm of of Rings, unfortunately. Stoppage by the refs as they try and get the chains moved. So now, still have some timeouts left here. You can do whatever. The way LeMaster's been running here, you can hand it off to him a couple times. Don't quite know the distance from Daniel LeMaster. He was kicking it from about 25 yards when I was down there at the practice in the preseason. So that would be about the 15-yard line. You need about 17, 18 more yards at least to be in his range. And now... Pre-game, he drilled run right at the 25, as you mentioned, right right through the middle of the And hold the phone. An unsportsmanlike conduct penalty is going to give 15 more yards, and we were just talking about needing 18 to get in the field goal range. They're about three yards away. Results of the two penalties, yardage. First down, Trojans. Penalties just killing Utica. So a home and kitchen supply first down now at the 18 of Utica. And with two timeouts remaining, like I said, Coach Andy Coella can pretty much do anything here offensively. Carson Ross will check in have for Jesse Rings, and now they will one. turn yeah. little use one of those timeouts. On personnel. You have to run a timeout. We'll keep it right here. And Ken, Utica's pretty much shot themselves in the foot in this one. You had the first fumble stripped. It, uh, kind of an unlucky fumble. The guy, was, the player was gang tackled. As he's going down, ball gets stripped right in the hands of Rings. Touchdown. Ensuing kickoff. The sun might have had something to do with it. The bounce on the feet. The turf might have had something to do, to do with it. Nonetheless, another turnover. Another touchdown for Centerberg. And now on this drive, on third and long, the tough interference penalty. And then somebody probably said something. Yeah. Somebody was upset over there to the call. 15 more yards, and it might cost them more points 
right before the half when you thought they were driving themselves and had a chance to get back into this game. Correct. Yep. That's the whole, whole key of this game right now has been turnovers and penalties. So the Trojans break the timeout. They do have one remaining now with 101 left and 18 yards, the pay dirt. LeMaster in the Wildcat gets across the 15. There's a flag on the play behind the play where you'll usually see holding. Yep, it's coming back. And it will come back. So that's tough because it absolutely now gets you out of field goal range. However, still first down. You still have 56 seconds in a timeout. Correct. But using that timeout may have uh, handcuffed you on your options a little bit. Yeah, you never know what the play might have been. It might have been another play before the timeout, too. You might have not seen holding. Rings, quick hitter to LeMaster. Avoids one tackler across the 30. He's not going to get out of bounds. He's only going to get three yards on the reception, and it'll bring up second down. Clock running now at 43, 42, 41 seconds. And the way Centerberg's running right now, they might be trying just to get back in the field goal range. Both teams with a timeout left. Bunch formation to the right. Rings looking one-on-one. -on -one. Fakes. Now he's getting blitzed. He's going to throw it, and it's caught. And the Trojans will have to use that timeout. Suli on the catch gets the ball down to the 22-yard line. A completion of about four. It's third down at the 22. 37-yard field goal right now. And this is the case now. You either go for the first down, you end the half, or you at least get it to around the 15 on a quick out. Well, and you had got to fight the clock to get your uh, field goal unit out there on the, on the yeah, field Yeah, you can't side get too. out of bounds either, exactly. yes. Something we saw, what was it, TCU against Baylor last year. Beautifully executed, though, in the last 15 seconds. They got the kicker out there. They got him set and still with a good four seconds to go. And it helped them get to the national championship yep. game. Yep. They lose that one. They won't make the playoff. Yep. Practice makes perfect. Five wide for rings, three to the left, two to the right. Slot left is LeMaster, and now yep. we'll get a timeout by Utica. Timeout, Utica. We'll take one with them. 21 seconds left here in the half. Trojans lead this one by 14. At Knox Community Hospital, your primary care physician is more than someone who delivers your test results, more than someone who writes prescriptions, more than someone who listens to your heart. We are your healthcare partner who takes the time to know you, listen to your concerns, and provide you with expert personalized care to make and keep you well. Because to us, you're more than just numbers on a chart, you're a neighbor and a friend. Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for the community. So, another timeout here by Utica. That's their final one. No one has timeouts left. Only way the clock's now going to stop is for a first down or a play out of bounds. Or an incompletion. Or an incompletion, yes. Yeah, Setterberg's got to be careful here because they could uh, wind the clock down even with a reception. It's got to be at least a first down. Rings his time. He's going to throw it towards got the end zone. Open. Jump ball. Did he get his foot down? Yes, he did. No call yet. No. Yes, yes, touchdown. <laughs> or they could just do that. <laughs> what is going on? Let's take a look at the replay. Toe touching. I think Harris had both in. Yep. Yep. Trevin Harris. Beautiful. 20 to nothing with 11 seconds left. That's a dagger. It's 
snap down, kick away. It's yes, it's good. It's 21. Nothing. We'll be back after this. talking about possibly getting the field goal range. Jesse Rings just wanted it all, and Trevin <laughs> Harris, with one of the nicest catches you'll see, gives Centerberg the 21-0 lead. Ten seconds left in the half. Chin trying to make something happen, and he'll get taken out at the 37-yard line with five seconds left. And uh, Let's take a look at that touchdown pass one more time because that was some nice footwork. Yeah. Yeah, he had that left foot down. Yes. I could see some blue in between Definitely. him and the line. Definitely good. That was nifty. Maybe, maybe a play that will start off the Friday night pigskin tonight. We'll have to wait and see. But it really puts a dagger early on here to Utica, too. Now down three scores. They will get the ball to start the second half. You've got to think they'll probably kneel it here. Definitely. But still, it was looking like it could have been 14-7 there for a while. Now it's 21-0. They're going to run a play. Piper takes the snap. He is going to roll out right, looking to go deep. He throws it, has a man for a second, and it is going to be a flag. Yeah. Late flag. That was probably the right call because yes, he got bumped before the ball yep. it came. Take a look at the replay one more time, but that's, I guess that's how they executed it. It's only 15 yards. It's not a spot foul like in the, in the NFL, but you'll see, yeah. Just a couple seconds early yep. was Jesse Rings there. So it now moves them closer. One more play. I don't think it will be an untimed down. I do not think that Piper has the arm to get it to the end zone, but at least it will have a, give him a chance to get it close and maybe something else happen. So a roughing, not a roughing, but an interference call. Moves him 15 yards. No, they're going to pick it up. Wow. And that's it for the half. No penalty on the play. That's the half. I'm shocked. Enjoy the stylings of the Utica and Centerberg. Your score at the break. Centerberg 21. Utica nothing. We'll take a quick break when we come back. The halftime band show inside the Webb's Marathon and Automotive. Halftime. Having Frito-Lay variety packs is a lot like having kids. You get a lot of flavor packed into small packages, and it's impossible to pick a favorite. Whoa! Yeah, definitely impossible to pick a favorite. Frito-Lay variety packs, packed with possibilities.
At Knox Community Hospital, your primary care physician is more than someone who delivers your test results, more than someone who writes prescriptions, more than someone who listens to your heart. We are your health care partner who takes the time to know you, listen to your concerns, and provide you with expert personalized care to make and keep you well. Because to us, you're more than just numbers on a chart. You're a neighbor and a friend. Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for the community.
Having Frito-Lay variety packs is a lot like having kids. You get a lot of flavor packed into small packages, and it's impossible to pick a favorite. Whoa! Yeah, definitely impossible to pick a favorite. Frito-Lay variety packs, packed with possibilities. At Knox Community Hospital, your primary care physician is more than someone who delivers your test results, more than someone who writes prescriptions, more than someone who listens to your heart. We are your health care partner who takes the time to know you, listen to your concerns, and provide you with expert personalized care to make and keep you well. Because to us, you're more than just numbers on a chart, you're a neighbor and a friend. Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for the community. Take a look at all the action from Friday Night Football right here in North Central Ohio with great analysis, highlights, coach interviews, and so much more every single Friday night right here on the OH Report. Tonight's high school football live stream brought to you live and free here on the OH Report. Thanks to our generous sponsors, Centerburg Point Saber Health, focused on creating a home-like atmosphere beyond the barriers of traditional long-term care community. We are committed to providing senior care services designed to meet the needs of our patients and strive to positively impact the community we serve. Centerburg Respiratory. Webb's Marathon and Automotive. Stop by Webb's Marathon to join the Webb's Rewards Program where you can earn dollars off fuel and free drinks and coffee. Go Trojans. Monarch Title Services. Without the support of Rochelle Sammons and her crew at Monarch Title, Centerburg football would not be available live and free to Trojan fans. If you're selling or refinancing your real estate, you get to choose the title company. Why not support those who support the Trojans and close with confidence anytime, anywhere? North Central State College, providing individuals with the knowledge, skills, and inspiration to succeed in their chosen paths. Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for the community, and free to lay. We are driven and inspired by our purpose, food that matters for life's moments. Thank you, everybody, for helping bring this in every Center Brewer game live and free on the OH Report as we welcome you inside the Webb's Marathon and Automotive halftime show where your score at the break, 21-0 in favor of the Trojans. Travis Berardi back here with Ken Parrott as we look at the halftime stats. And it's all Centerberg in the stats. Nine first downs to four, 53 passing yards to 22, 101 rushing yards to 55. That is a total of 154 for the Trojans, 77 for Utica. Utica, those three costly turnovers. Centerberg did have one, but they got it right back. 
Both teams a couple penalties. Two per two 15 yarders on Utica, a holding and an offsides on the Trojans. And break those stats down a little bit more for me, Ken. Uh, obviously, the, the, the workhorse for Sitterberg is LeMaster. Of those 101 yards, he's got 99 of them on 12 carries. He's also got a couple receptions for 21 yards. Uh, quarterback rings is uh, the other uh, influential person, obviously, of the, of the stats. He's 5 for 13 on throwing, which is not stellar. He's got one INT, uh, but he does have 53 yards, and he spread those out over uh, various uh, receivers. On the Utica side, they've got the uh, ball carrying spread out by mainly by three people. Quarterback Piper's carried it five uh, times for 12 yards. Uh, Collier, Collier has carried it five times for 12 yards, and Giffen's carried it seven times for, for 15 yards. Scoring here. Centerberg opens it up. Jesse Rings didn't do it offensively. Defensively, a swarm tackle, popped the ball loose, deep in Utica territory, right into the hands of Rings. He had nothing but daylight, made it 7 2 nothing. Rings also added a touchdown right before the half. We thought they were just setting up for a field goal, but no. He ended up finding Trevin Harris on the sideline. Toe touches inbounds for the second for the third touchdown well, I, of the day. I, I think with the time that was left and with no timeouts left, they either had to go for the home run, and if it didn't work, then they had enough time to get the field goal unit on. Uh, they either had to go Go, like I said, go for the touchdown because uh, if they they catch that without catching the first down, they're going to run out of time and not, not have time for the field goal attempt. And it worked out. So everything working out for Centerberg, unlike last season against Utica at Utica where nothing worked out for them in week one. Hopefully it's not a reversal of what happens from weeks two to ten, though, for the defending KMAC champs. But they are off to a great start here on opening night, looking to make it 10 wins in a row in the regular season. Well, I think you summarized the first half uh, accurately when you talked about two main things. So turnovers, costly turnovers, and costly uh, penalties at the wrong time. Uh, they haven't been penalized a lot, but the time that Utica got their penalties uh, were very costly. Kept drives going for Centerberg. Uh, gave them excellent field position there at the, at the end of that last drive and, and really set them up for the, the uh, game, game touchdown uh, reception there at the end. Looking at some comments, we finally have some time to look at our Facebook comments. Alex Johnson, go Trojans, beat the Redskins. Anthony Maddox, let's go, keep rolling. Christopher Webster, watching from Columbus. Charity LeMay, let's go Trojans. Kalen is a beast, he is. Anthony Maddox, Trevin Harris, Sports Center top 10. Uh, yeah, that, that pretty close. Anthony Moreland, let's go Trojans. And also, over on the YouTube, we have a fan of the Trojan Marching Band. Thank you very much, and everybody. 123 you're watching over there on the YouTube tonight. Not as many on Facebook, but still, thank you all over there for watching live and free. We also have some other games going on some scores from around the KMAC. Northmore leading Upper Sandusky, 21-14 at the break. Up at Danville, 14 all between them and Worthington Christian. Try and get you a Highland, Highland on the road tonight. They're at Fredericktown, we'll see if we can get you a score on that. I know Mansfield Senior up at St. Vincent St. Mary's leads them by seven at the break. Mount Gilead leading 9-8 against Triad. So k -Max squad's doing pretty darn good so far tonight. Ashland leads River Valley 20-7 at the break. Riverdale up 39-0 on Cyrus. Lucas and Clearfork tied at seven at the break, as we all expected. That's going to be a good one. 26-7 in favor of Shelby over 
Madison. And actually, a halftime score at St. Vincent, St. Mary, 22, Mansfield, Senior, 14. So they had those scores a little bit opposite. Lexington, 7. Ontario, 7 at the break. Elgin, 22. Cardington, Lincoln, nothing. Pleasant and North Union tied at seven at the break. West Holmes, 27, Triway, seven. Oberlin, 14, Plymouth, six. As we come back, ready to go. Trojans to kick it away as we are underway in the second half. And that's going to go out of bounds in good starting position now. For Utica to start quarter number three as the lights come on. The sun starts to set on a beautiful now, opening night. Now it feels like Friday night football. It does. Not like 92 degrees like the last two <laughs> years of opening <laughs> nights, but this is perfect weather. Tell me that's coming next week. That's okay, because I'm going to be in an air-conditioned press box at Hillsdale as they take on Lucas. I'll be with you. Yes, she will. So don't worry about that. I was there to, to test things out at Jeromesville. They have a very nice press box for us. Air conditioner slash heaters in each room. So we will be good. So Utica needs something to get going here they want to have a chance as we start the second half. Score from Highland, 21-0. Score from Frederictown, 21-0 Highland. Dane Nauman, that's a name you'll hear a lot. Yes. He scored twice already, including a 60-yard touchdown run. Is this play off to the left side and maybe a yard on the completion to Gavin Chin? Piper's been accurate, but just hasn't had many completions down the field. Correct. That'll bring up second down and nine just underway here in the second quarter, or the second half. I got the second right. Nice crowd here on hand as well. We call this Centerburg North tonight. It's going to be a pitch right. Chin trying to get the corner, and he will not. Nice Give him a loss of two. We take a look at the Monarch Title Services replay. Who was that that made first contact? That was Trevin Harris. Guy can catch it in the end zone on offense. He can run down a running back off the corner he's on got, defense. He's got wheels. Third down and 11 for the Redskins. He's got a quick hitter. And they're going to get six yards back, but it will be short. Chin will be five yards short of the line to gain, and it's going to be a punt. So the Trojans once again hold, and they'll get their first possession, barring a fake or a penalty here. Not how they want to start the second half. Oh, fake. It's going to be a fake. fake. And he didn't oh, get it. What, what a stop. He looked like he had the room, but Centerberg out of nowhere. He needed five. He got three. Centerberg in business. Who was it there on the hit? That's big number 58. That's Lane Johnston with the stop. Gutsy. We'll take another look at it. It's a, yeah, it's a gutsy, gutsy call, call, exactly. And it looked like for a second they had it, but look at Johnston shed the tackler and stuff him two yards short. A home and kitchen supply first down for the Trojans in plus territory for their first possession of the second half. Rings. Quick hitter right side. Let's complete the nice first blocks. 
gets across the 35. He's close to a first down. Where are they going to mark him? A yard short. It's a gain of nine. That was, Giffen on a tackle. That was set up by two excellent blocks by his fellow receivers. That is something I've seen even improve from last year. Tackling as well as blocking on the offensive side. Great job by the Trojans thus far tonight. Rings. Going to hand it off to LeMaster, and there's nothing oh. doing. He's going to get taken down by six. To, actually, not taken down, but he's going to get stopped. It'll bring a third down as it's a loss of two yards. Utica read that perfectly. He was met by a wall. <laughs> and somehow they couldn't still take him down as they pushed him back. Third down and three. Under nine to play, third quarter, 21-0 Trojans. Snap back, fakes the handoff. Rings is going to keep it himself. Cuts back, spins, and he's going to get taken down a yard behind the line of scrimmage. It'll bring up fourth down, and you got to think Coach Coella is going to go for it here in plus territory, especially the way the defense has been playing tonight. Rings on the carry, tackle by Drum. Brings up fourth and four. Fourth and four Trojans, and they will stay out on the field offensively. Lamaster sidecar left, one split to the left, one to the right. Rings looking to pass, quick hitter, and it is over the defender, caught down the sideline, nice. right side, down to the 15, down to the 13 yard line is Trevin Harris once again. From the 38 down to the 12, it's a home and kitchen supply first down. 26 yards on the completion. Big hitter. And again, another conversion on third down for Centerburg. They can get a first down at the two. Hand off LeMaster left side. Big he has hole. a big, big hole. hole. Five breaks a tackle. Wow. He's going to be down at the two yard line. Is it enough for a first down? We'll see. He's going to be short. So give him 10. We'll give him 10 on the carry. Maybe got nine and a half, but we're generous people. You know what? I think board. I could have gotten three or four yards on that hole. That was something you could drive <laughs> a truck through as we take a look at the replay one more. I mean, maybe he cut it back up in. Maybe if he kept it outside a little bit more, he could have taken it to the house. But I have a feeling they're going to be giving it to him again. Referee timeout here yeah, we'll play, for a moment. They'll play safe ball here. Feed him two or three times here until he punch it in. The chain gang. And they are going to measure. And finally a chance for the Centerburg PA announcer to shout out the chain gang. First time of many this year that we're going to get a chain gang shout out. Here from, well, call it Centerburg North tonight. Just short. And he's going to be inches. about, so he needed 10 yards. He got 9 feet 8 inches. It'll be second down and short. I think back everything nice I said about them. Second short. <laughs> 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 Didn't get the first down, and the, the PA announcer, if you didn't hear, I take everything nice I just said about them. Uh, that's, that's some good stuff right there. So second and short. Wonder where this is going to go, Ken. Uh, yeah, LeMaster, LeMaster, LeMaster. Good time for a boot. Oh, oh. LeMaster. That wasn't LeMaster actually back there. That was Carson Ross. Changes. And it'll back him up five yards. Yeah. Ball start on the Trojan. So now it's second and five. I think I still give it. Well, Lamaster's not yeah, in there right, right now. In, I say in. bunch formation. Tursky wide to the right. It's gonna be a keeper. Lamaster was in the Wildcat. Gets the he's corner of the room. five. Oh, leans. He's gonna be out at the one, but we have we a, flag a flag on the play there, behind. Yeah. Take a look at the replay. See what we have. 
maybe a hold late, but I didn't see much out of the replay. It must have been out of foot, out of the picture. So now Centerberg's backed up ten more yards, and it's going to be second and fifteen. Under eight to play here, third quarter. Centerberg leading this one 21 nothing. Again, penalty shooting yourself in the foot. Throw. Looking to throw, and he's going to keep it and get most of those yards oh. back, and then he's hit out of bounds. Yeah. It's going to be a first down. Bad decision again. So Rings is going to get ten yards, maybe eleven yards on the play. Add three more for the penalty, but it's going to be a first, first down. First goal. Brought to you by Home and Kitchen Supply. So the penalty wasn't for many yardage, many yards, but again, it gives you a full set of four not, and the goal to go. Not a lot of penalties, but the ones they have have been crucial. Got to be a little more disciplined and know where you're at on the field. So actually, it was after the play, so it won't be an automatic first down. Ooh. They'll mark off the yardage, but now it's second down and one. So pretty much back to where we were to start. Right. Lamaster this time on the keeper, what? and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Trojans. Kalen Lamaster untouched through the pile. It's 27, zip. Take a look at the replay. Just great blocking, cuts it back, and he is in for the score. Snap down, extra point up, and it is good. 7.08 remaining here, third quarter. Trojans leading by 28. At Knox Community Hospital, your primary care physician is more than someone who delivers your test results more than someone who writes prescriptions, more than someone who listens to your heart. We are your healthcare partner who takes the time to know you, listen to your concerns, and provide you with expert personalized care to make and keep you well. Because to us, you're more than just numbers on a chart. You're a neighbor and a friend. Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for the community. Back here in Marengo, 28-0 on the Kalen LeMaster touchdown run. Boot is away, taken at the, the eight-yard line. Chin across the 30, 35, 40, still on the oh, seat, nice cut. 50, one man to beat, 40, 30, 20, he's 10, good. he's gone! Touchdown, Utica with some life! Nice cut back. 92 yards to the house! He worked his way through traffic, as you see here on the replay. Cuts back right there, a couple missed tackles, and then he's off to the races. It looked like he was racing Harris and just gets ahead of him to go 92 to pay dirt. And it's 28-6, hold the phones, folks. A little momentum back to Utica. Okay. Logan Fisher will try the point after. Snap down, kick away, and it is good. So just like that, it's back to a 21-point game. We'll take a break. 6.54 left here 
in quarter number three. So Utica with some life here, answering the touchdown with a kick six of their own. They get 28-7, Travis Brody alongside Kevin Parrott, 28-7 on the center for a point scoreboard. And now this is where your defense has to help out your special teams if you're Utica. Get a stop, get the ball back, and you never know. But if Centerburg can get a drive going, they can get that momentum right back. It's a pooch punt taken at the 30. And falls down across the 35. A smart play there. So the Trojans will have a home and kitchen supply first down at their own 35. Jonah Gribben on the return. First down Trojans at the 35. Just a reminder, tonight around 11.30 or midnight when we get it all set up, we will have the first regular season edition of the Friday Night Pigskin. We'll have highlights from this one as well as some of our live, other live streams. We'll have a couple interviews. Maybe we'll get head coach Andy Coelho on the show tonight. All that and more coming up tonight on the Friday Night Pigskin. Right here, live and free on the OH Report. First and 10 Trojans. Rings with Lamaster in the backfield with him. Keeps it himself. Tries to get outside, and he's taken down. Nice. A good start for you to go on defense. Nice gang tackle. So, step one complete. Step two for them is trying to get off the field on third down, something they have not been able to do too much tonight. Score's got them a little motivated here. Still half of the quarter and a full fourth quarter remaining. Second and 13. Rings oh. looking for the quick hitter. Finally does get it off, and it's caught across the 45 and out of bounds at the, actually the 43. To give him 10 on a throw. Utica sent two linebackers on that play, and it looked like they almost had him. But he was able to get it away. Isaiah Suli on the catch. Brings up third and manageable, and like I said, can Utica finally get off the field on third down, or is Centerberg going to continue this momentum? Hand off LeMaster. He's going to get the first down. Nice second Needed effort. two, got three. Nice second effort. That's a home and kitchen supply first down. The 11th first down of the night for the Trojans. This is where if you're Utica, the clock is not your friend. You've got to get a stop here. Get a change of possession, get your offense back on the field. Snap back, hand off LeMaster. Cuts back across the 50. Spins and gets up to the 45. Give him nine on the carry. It's second down and one. And that is Kalen LeMaster's game. I was getting ready to tell you. Yeah, well, Travis, he cuts back so well. It's 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 amazing. It's those yak yards, yards after contact. He likes to spin out of them, juke his way around, but his, you really have to play him straight up. His stat says he's 165, which is not big for running back, but my goodness, his agility is amazing. We're going to have a penalty on Centerberg, a jump. It'll back them up five yards. It'll be second and six. Ball start on the Trojans. The fifth penalty on Centerberg this evening. And that's the second time we've seen a player jump on that call. Five minutes left in the third. Ball at midfield. Fakes the handoff, quick hitter right side. That's Chris Marshall. 
Avoids one tackler. Gets maybe two yards out of it. It'll be third down. And about four. If you're the Trojans, even if you don't score on this possession, maybe get one more first down. Run this down towards the end of the corner. Four wide for rings. Getting blitz. Rolls out, throws complete first down. Who else? Trevin Harris. It's another home and kitchen supply. First down. Take a look at the replay. Calm under pressure is Jesse Rings in his first start as quarterback. I tell you what, he's really settled down since halftime. He hasn't thrown a, a missed ball yet, and he's been pressured on a, lot, on a lot of those throws. Rings last year was on the receiving end of Tyler Johnson passes. Probably learned a couple things from the All-Ohioan. Now he's doing it himself. Quick pitch left side. Lamaster across the 40, 35 with a head of steam. Stop though. After four yards, bring up second down. It looked like for the for a second that he had some open holes, but quickly shut down there by Justin Giffen, running back on the other side of the ball. And that's what you have to do: go right at him. Don't look at the jukes, the gyrations, the spin. Go right through him. That's how you stop Kalen Lamaster. And even then, it's hard to do. And every time he touches the ball, it eats a bit, about a minute off the clock. Second and six. Quick pitch to Lamaster across the 35 and works his way ahead after three more yards. Third down and three. That's all you need. Three yards at a time. Three, six, nine yards. Fourth and one. Go for it again. You get another two yards, one yard. You still get it. Growing up, they always said Woody Hayes ball, three yards in a cloud of dust. No dust on this type of a field, but it does Rubber keep... pellets. Yes. Rings rolling out to his right. He's going to lob it for Harris. Yes! Wait! Oh! Was it taken out? It was. Who has it? I think Utica got the ball, and they do! Wow. Just out of the reach of Harris. Ripped out there by Chase Bennett. So Utica gets the ball back with 232 remaining and 92 yards to go. Every time you think this game is going to be you know, a game-ending dagger here, Utica finds a way to, to get new life. Still got a chance here. Rings tried to thread the needle, maybe threw it a moment too late there. Yes. He and it allowed he, Bennett to get the He was definitely wide open initially there. Be a handoff, and again, nothing doing for Giffen. Bring up second down. Giffen ten. They will actually give him a yard on the play, so it's second and nine. Quick pass, right side, complete. That's Chin who had the 92-yard touchdown, but he's going to maybe get a yard, bring up third down and long. Again, nice pursuit there by the Trojans to shut that down before it can start. And they're swarming on the ball. It's not just one tackler. It's two or three every time. Third down and eight as we approach 90 seconds left here in the third. Look in the pass, throws it, and it is in and out of the hands of the receiver chin. Brings up fourth down. Trojans get a stop. Fourth and eight for the Redskins. This is going to give Centerberg excellent field position. And even if he caught that, I think he was going to be a yard or two short. Yeah. And with Utica, they couldn't have gone for it there. It's, it's no. too early in the, in the game to do that. 
and it would you can't if you don't get it you're pretty much shooting yourselves in the foot right there fourth down and eight trojans are going to get very good ball position here they just field it Gonna be taken at the 47. And down at good the 45. Coverage. Good coverage, but did his job. Fielded the ball, didn't let it go into their territory. And Centerberg will have a good starting point with 112 left in the third. Kirsty on the return, tackled by Bennett, first down, Trojan. 72 seconds left here, third quarter. Hand off LeMaster. Wow. He's carrying wow. five guys with wow. him. 14 yards on the carry and another. Home and kitchen supply and first down. Good. Some of that is the shot of a cannon. offensive line. Some of that's LeMaster's effort, but I think we're starting to see some of the wind come out of the uh, Utica defense's sails here. They've been on the field way too much tonight. Starting to run out of gas. Another handoff LeMaster. Across the 30, down to the 25. We've got a hold. Flag on the play. So probably be coming back. Yep. LeMaster on the carry, second by Palura. Penalty marker on the play. Unfortunately, he committed that hold in open field, so everybody saw it. That's pretty obvious. And sometimes they're trying a little too hard, and the play's already passed. Exactly. You don't even need to exactly. Take that. You're, it was a senseless hold. You're exactly right. Holding on the trailer. Takes the throw, rings, has to roll the pocket, gets a block by nice LeMaster. Block. He's going to pull it down and get out of bounds at rings on the, carry. the 35. So give him five yards. Actually, it's a 36. It'll be second down. Five wide for rings here. 31 seconds left on a stop third quarter clock. LeMaster in motion. Fakes the screen to him. He's going to now keep it. Wide Rolling, open. looking, ball fakes, and then he's going to get back to the original line of scrimmage. They're obviously marking eight yards short, so give him two yards. It'll be third and 11. Initially, the screen was there, and it was open, but unfortunately... Rings was still running. Had a little bit of a pressure. Yes. Yeah, pressure there on. Yes. A little difficult to make that pass when you're running that hard. Sun has set here at Marengo. Actually a bit chilly here for mid-August. November, well, August, October football weather here in August. Rings looking to pass. Avoids. The defensive line is going to heave it into traffic and incomplete. It'll be fourth down here in four down territory. 15 seconds left in the third. He had Tursky there, but it was closely guarded. And Utica, Utica has done a very good job of putting pressure on him all night. There's not, not been too many times he's been able to sit in the pocket and find his, his open receivers, and a lot of times he's on the run. Three wide to the right, one to the left. 
Springs rolling right throws, and it is caught. Yes. Nice. But short of the first down. Needed 11, got eight. So it will be a turnover on downs. Seven seconds will be announcing the 50-50 winner. Dig out, dig out. So that's exactly what Utica wanted to do. Give them the open flat there short of the marker and then swarm once he catches it exactly what they did. But barring a 76-yard touchdown on this place, Centerberg will get to the end of the third, still at three scores. Barring a big play here. Never know. They're going to look to go big play. Has a man open. open. Great breakup, though. They're going to call oh, flag. Wow. Oh, no. I don't know. Oh, wow. I don't know. Let's take a look at the replay because we have it right here. Flag on the sideline here. And they're probably going to get the off the sideline. of. Here's the play. That was at the same. That was. Under the through. first time. Yes. This time he was yeah. there right at the yes. right time. Yes. Unless they. Unless they pick it up. I. That, that's tough. We'll have an untimed down if this holds, and it is pass interference. And then just a sideline warning against Centerberg, so. Pass interference on the Trojans. It'll be a first down. So we will have one untimed down here before the end of the quarter. I also forgot... Barring an untimed down, Senator <laughs> exactly. get to the end of the quarter. Exactly. But. Yikes. Let's let's watch that one more time. Fortunately for Utica, he I was mean, he wide gets, open early he on. Catches, it's under, that's under that thrown ball and he plays the ball. He slapped it out yeah. from the hands as yeah, he caught exactly. it. That's tough. That's a tough play for the referee that's about thirty yards down Ex the play to exactly. make that call. Nonetheless, possibly the, the final play of the quarter is gonna be a screen pass and eaten up after a yard and that's it for quarter number three we had the money time centerberg leading by 21 live and free on the oh report are you ready for the comeback Knox Community Hospital, your primary care physician is more than someone who delivers your test results, more than someone who writes prescriptions, more than someone who listens to your heart. We are your health care partner who takes the time to know you, listen to your concerns, and provide you with expert personalized care to make and keep you well. Because to us, you're more than just numbers on a chart, you're a neighbor and a friend. Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for the community. Fourth quarter about to begin here. Utica with the ball down by three scores. Oh! And a sack to start the fourth. Cam Alloway. Piper on the carry, tackle by Alloway. Untouched, gets back there and makes the tackle. It's third down and long. After the loss of seven. Not the way to start quarter number four no. for Utica. No, he was he was by his blocker before he even basically stood up. Ball fakes. He's going to let it fly as a man open, but overthrew him. 
And it'll be fourth down. And that time, Rings held back just a little bit more, waited for the contact to happen on the catch, but it didn't come. Brings up fourth and 17. And Yuka's going to punt. You know, we still got a quarter to play, but I think tomorrow morning, videotape time, Centerberg coaches will be very pleased with what they've seen so far, for, especially for being week one. They've got some things to clean up, a little bit better of pass blocking maybe, and, and you know, the, the mistakes you usually see week one, but uh, they've got some weapons. Punt is away. Taken at the 30, muffs, and just falls on it. Is Tursky, and that's where we got another flag. Might be getting a little chippy out yeah, of here. Yeah, we tonight. got a Utica player deep in their their bench. Things aren't going your way, and you're getting frustrated. Good time for us to take a look at what we wanted for our keys to the game tonight. Brought to you by Webb's Automotive. For Utica, they're a, they're a veteran squad, and they needed to establish the run game. Unable to do that. Centerberg's been phenomenal defensively, especially up front. For the Trojans, though, easy yards early. Three, four yards at a time, and then go for the revenge. They, they're playing with a chip on their shoulder tonight. The lone loss in the regular season was this team. Last season, and they're playing like it. Exactly. You can check them off for Centerberg, for Utica. Not as much. Yes. Offsetting personal foul penalties was the flag. So nobody moving anywhere. Trojans take over on their own 27 with 11.04 left here in the contest. And off LeMaster across the 30, 35. Still on his feet out to the 38-yard line. They're going to give him the first down. We'll have to wait and see. He's just going to be a little short. Still give him 10 yards on the carry, though. Second in inches. You know, you watch him run. Even and now they're going to say move this ref over here. Now they will move it. It will be a Coleman Kitchen Supply first down. So they will move the sticks. There we go. Another handoff, LeMaster jukes his way through. 45, wow. 50, can he get through the hole? 40, 35, wow. 30, down to the 27 yard line. LeMaster on the carry, tackled by me. First down, Trojan. 35 yards. The initial juke he makes on that first step. Incredible. Well over 100 yards yes. tonight. How many was that? How much was that run? 30. 30 yards. Thirty-seven actually, to be correct. That handoff. Goes to Carson Ross. He'll get two yards out of it. He'll bring up second down. Under 10 to play here. I was going to say earlier, you know, one of the neat things about LeMaster, we keep talking about his juking and, and his ability to change direction. But what I really like about the kid is when he gets wrapped up, he's still driving his legs. And, and that's hard to teach sometimes. A lot of times kids get wrapped up and they just give up, but he keeps moving his legs and, and, and uh, making big steps, and he gets another three or four yards out of it. He'll get three out of it, bring up third down. Clock still running here under 9-10 left.
Quick pitch to LeMaster. Gets across the 20 to the 15. It's a first down inside the 15, down to the 12. Eight yards on the carry. It's another home and kitchen supply first down. That's going to put him in the 200-yard area for the night. Got to think that's going to be our MVP this evening. Yes. A couple touchdowns as well. Yeah, I was just adding up on that last, last carry. Our player to watch this evening, and this is exactly why. First and ten, they can get another first down at the two and a half. Quick pitch, LeMaster, oh. he is, fumbles the ball. Who has it? Utica does. Fumble on the play, recovered by the Redskins. First black eye on him tonight. It, it wasn't his fault, to be honest with you. That defender was waiting on him. Hayden Un Piper. Untouched. He wanted to have his hands on the ball offensively, so he did it himself. Forces the fumble. And they take over with 8.07 remaining. 89 yards to go. Takes the snap, he's gonna roll out to the left. Has time, now he's gonna tuck it and run. Across the 15 and close to the 20 yard line. Give him a good five yards, it's second down and five. Piper on the carry, tackled by LeMaster. LeMaster trying to return the favor, makes the tackle there. Officially, they gave him six on the carry out to the 18. It's second and four. Hand off up the middle. And some forward movement this time. They're going to get a first down. No, ball's Fumble. on the ground. Who has it? They said it was down by contact, so it will be a first down for Utica. And we have an injured player, so take a look at the replay. And it looked like it was the ball carrier, Tyler Kalura, who was down on the field. We'll take a timeout with them. 7.22 left in the game, 28-7, Centerburg. Are you ready for the comeback? Having Frito-Lay variety packs is a lot like having kids. You get a lot of flavor packed into small packages. And it's impossible to pick a favorite. Whoa! Yeah. Definitely impossible to pick a favorite. Frito-Lay Variety Packs, packed with possibilities. Community. After the injury timeout, Tyler was able to walk off on his own. It's a quick bubble screen. Across the 30, 35, 40. Another first down. That's a gain of 16 out to Hunter McKinney. Take a quick look at the replay as Utica starting to go into the hurry up offense now, down by three scores and under seven minutes remaining. First and 10. Throws, and that's going to bounce off of the turf, incomplete, bring up second down with 6.49 left. Couple first downs, though. Showed a little bit of positivity here. A 
Couple of nice plays. Something you can build on tomorrow morning during uh, That's what I was about film to time. Say, yeah. yeah, maybe punch it in here. Yeah. Another quick screen right side. Has some room. Nice Up tackle. Ended, though. Great open nice field tackle. tackle once again by Jesse Rings. After the five, the four yard gain. Bring up third down. That was Chin once again. Third and five from the Utica 45. 6.22 on a running clock. It's now going to be stopped for a Utica timeout. Timeout, Utica. The Touchdown Club would like to thank the following sponsors of the 2023 football season. Rusty Weber. West we'll take Carolina, one with them. The 6.20 left. Centerberg looking to go. At Knox Community Hospital, your primary care physician is more than someone who delivers your test results, more than someone who writes prescriptions, more than someone who listens to your heart. We are your health care partner who takes the time to know you, listen to your concerns, and provide you with expert personalized care to make and keep you well. Because to us, you're more than just numbers on a chart. You're a neighbor and a friend. Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for the community. So after the timeout, oh. ball's on the ground, and they're just going to have to fall on it, and that'll bring up fourth down. That's going to go all the way back behind the original line of scrimmage, a loss of six, and it'll be fourth and 11, and this could be for the game right here. They're going to go for it. Highland now up 28-0 on Fredericktown. Wow. He's going to heave it. There's and a flag. there's the flag. Yep. Bit of a wrap around. It's a good call. That'll be a first down. Take a look at the replay, and I'll show you. Right here at contact, you can't let him yeah. do that. Yep. Even if it's a little bit, it's gonna be a penalty and another home and kitchen supply first down. Partington trailing 30 to nothing in the fourth. Pleasant leading 21-15 on North Union. Mount Vernon leading Harding 24-14 after three. First and 10 from the Centerberg, 45. Another throw and that'll be incomplete intended for McKinney. Just a little under throw, nice ball though. Pass intended for McKinney is incomplete, broken up by rings. Clyde defeats Bellevue 14 to six. Hopewell Loudon up 36-19 on Carey. And in the fourth quarter, Ashland and River Valley are tied at 20. Wow. Piper looking again, and he's gonna get sacked oh. back at his own 40. A 14 yard yeah. loss is all the way, gets his another sack for the Trojans. There could have been three yeah, Trojans get, there. I was going to say, another swarm tackle. Monroeville leading Lakota 20 to nothing. Wife tells me Northmore's up 28-14 against Upper. Piper hey. makes the catch. Left side, and it'll be now a manageable position. 16 yards on the completion. 
pass complete to Fisher. To Fisher. Seven for the Redskins. So from fourth and 23 to fourth and seven. And again, this probably for the game. Piper takes the snap. Throws a side oh! on the pit. Harris. He's got open room. field. No one will catch him. Pick six Trojans. That'll make the highlight reel. <laughs> that was beautiful. Dagger. Harris takes it back. An offensive touchdown, a defensive touchdown. It's 34 7. Lamaster to try and stay perfect. Extra point wise here on the season. Snap down, it's good. Kick is up. Right, no nope. good. But no no good. good wide right, so I apologize for the jinx. Very important announcement here. We appreciate Highland allowing But 406 left. Trojans lead 34 to 7. putting a cap on this one the touchdown return by Harris makes it 34 to 7 looking at some other scores Lucas and Clear Fork are in overtime right now Lucas leading 14 7 kick is away taken at the 5 across the 10 trying the reverse field this time though Centerberg is there Nice pursuit. Score from East Knox after three. Bulldogs 14, Northridge nothing. A nice start for East Knox. Shelby ahead 34-14 on Madison. You see that highlight on the OH report. Buckeye Central up 50 to nothing on Crestline. Wow. Four minutes exactly left in this one. 34-7, Centerburg. And another sack. Wow. Taylor the master running free in the backfield with the sack. So that'll back them up about 10 yards. Centerberg defense is playing just as hard last few minutes here as they were at the beginning of the game. This is going to be a delayed handoff and some running room still on his feet and upended just short of the first down. So he needed 19. He got 16 on that carry. Bennett on the carry, tackled by Merklin. Chase Bennett. Another handoff up the middle. It'll be close to the yards the gain. And it will be enough for a home and kitchen supply first down. Ross on the tackle. Mm -hmm. 
234. Left in this one. Another handoff to Bennett. Left side. And taken down from behind after seven yards. It'll bring up second down and three. Brought in some fresh legs here, and he's, he's running the ball quite well. Under two to play. Make sure to stay tuned for the Webb's Marathon and Automotive postgame show. We will have our Centerburg Respiratory and Specialty Rehab Center MVP. Handoff. Open hole across the 50. Cuts back and taken down at the 40. 22 yards. Another home and kitchen supply first down. And something for Utica to build on here as we come to the end of the game. He keeps that up. He's going to be their leading rusher. Bennett with another big run. 90 seconds left. This time stopped right at the line of scrimmage. So Centerberg able to finally stop some momentum. Makes it second and ten. Bennett on the carry, tackled by Johnston and Lawrence. Quick pass right side that's caught by Meek. And he's going to get taken behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of two, it's third down. Pass complete to Bennett, tackled by Harris. Bennett this time made the catch. Actually, it's Carson Meek making the catch. We come up on 35 seconds left. And off again up the middle. Spin move there by Kyler Zeiske. Zeiske on the carry. Give him three yards. Bring up fourth down, but that doesn't matter because the game is over. Centerberg gets that revenge from last season and knocks off Utica 34 to seven behind the running of Kaylin LeMaster and the hands of Trevin Harris. We'll take a break when we come back to Webb's Marathon and Automotive Post Game Show, as well as the Centerberg Respiratory MVP right here. You're watching High School Football Live and free on opening night right here on the OH Report. Having Frito-Lay variety packs is a lot like having kids. You get a lot of flavor packed into small packages, and it's impossible to pick a favorite. Whoa! Yeah, definitely impossible to pick a favorite. Frito-Lay variety packs, packed with possibilities. Knox Community Hospital, your primary care physician is more than someone who delivers your test results, more than someone who writes prescriptions, more than someone who listens to your heart. We are your health care partner who takes the time to know you, listen to your concerns, and provide you with expert personalized care to make and keep you well. Because to us, you're more than just numbers on a chart, you're a neighbor and a friend. Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for the community.
Take a look at all the action from Friday Night Football right here in North Central Ohio with great analysis, highlights, coach interviews, and so much more every single Friday night right here on the OH Report.
time now for our Centerberg Respiratory and Specialty Rehab Center MVP. And it is Centerberg senior running back Kalen Lamaster who ran up and down the turf here at Highland High School. 24 carries, 201 yards, two touchdowns. He added three catches for 29 yards as the Trojans get that revenge on Utica tonight. Kalen, first of all, congratulations. I'll talk about your performance first, well, second here, but first, how big was that fumble recovery scoop and score touchdown to get the momentum in your favor? Oh, that was awesome, you know. I mean, we came out guns blazing. I don't think anyone was really, like, nervous at all. We were all very hype, and then that just, that just added to the fire. Um, you've done this a lot. You went over 1,000 yards rushing last year. Just... How impressed are you at some of the, the linemen that came in? You have a freshman lineman. You have some other guys that played with you the last couple of years. But uh, how happy are you with this line after game number one that you were able to get 201 yards on the ground? You know, uh, we're definitely never satisfied. But we did what we did tonight, and we did our job. So that's a starting point. We definitely still have to work our practice. we got to get better. And But other than that, I mean, I'm proud of our guys. They went hard. They went uh, balls to the wall. You know, I mean, I'm not going to say anything negative, but just never be satisfied. Um, how satisfying is it, though, to get revenge on Utica last year? They were their lone loss, but now you get win number one. That's ten straight victories in the regular season for the Trojans. You know, um, it's definitely a good feeling to win the game. We weren't really looking at it as a revenge-type game. We were just uh, – our motto this week was just strictly business, you know. Uh, it's a week-to-week -week basis, and we just did our jobs this week. You're done with this week. Now you head to an Ontario team that has very high hopes in the MOAC. You get them at home. What's it going to take you after reviewing film from this one to get ready for the Warriors? Uh, you know, we just have to do our jobs. We have to focus on ourselves, really. We're going to study up on them. We were uh, very well prepared against Utica tonight. Uh, we were basically calling out their plays before they even ran them. But it's just a, the same thing this week, you know. It's just a different team, different uh, beast. All right, and finally, as always, man, you want to look in the camera, give anybody a shout-out, go for it. Hey, man, shout-out to my O-line, shout-out to the coaches. Uh, shout-out to my girlfriend, Olivia. She's a cheerleader down there. <laughs> there we and go. Shout-out to my mom, too. Love her. Big John Geiger was watching tonight, too. Yeah, I saw him. I saw him. Uh, there you go. There you go. Kalen Lamaster, tonight's MVP. Just a ho-hum. 201 yards on the ground. Congratulations, man. Good luck next week. Thank you. We'll take a break. When we come back, we will wrap things up here from Marengo. Very sweaty. Just you want to talk like that? Okay. Can, because, yeah. At Knox Community Hospital, your primary care physician is more than someone who delivers your test results, more than someone who writes prescriptions, more than someone who listens to your heart. We are your healthcare partner who takes the time to know you, listen to your concerns, and provide you with expert personalized care to make and keep you well. Because to us, you're more than just numbers on a chart, you're a neighbor and a friend. Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for the community. Welcome back now to the Webbs Marathon and Automotive post-game show where your final Centerberg 34, Utica 7 here from Coverett Field in Marengo as the Trojan Band. Oh, they're having a good time. Might as well stay out there for a little bit longer. Travis Berardi alongside Ken Parrott. Let's take a look at the final statistics this evening. 34-7 the final. Um... 10 first downs, that's actually supposed to read 18, there we go. 18 first downs for Centerberg, 10 for Utica. Trojans outpassed, outrushed, outgained. 
106-69 through the air, 217 to 118 on the ground. They outran them 323 to 187. Three turnovers. Two of those came late in the game. Really didn't matter too much because of the way the Centerberg defense played, but the three turnovers by Utica, costly. Momentum killers led the touchdowns for Centerberg. Pretty much iced the game there for them. Penalty-wise, 8 for 85 for Centerberg, 3 for 33. But anything stand out to you there, Ken? Well, I mean, clearly the, the lack of offense by Utica, they, they just struggled. Uh, had a lot of uh, momentum changers there when they had, you know, only three penalties, but those three penalties were, were backbreakers. They came at the wrong time and, and kept the momentum going for Centerberg. Um, I mentioned earlier in the third quarter, I think tomorrow morning, Centerberg coaches are going to be tickled to death of what they see by the effort of their kids. Uh, offensively, defensively, they've got a lot of positive things to look at. and uh, they'll, they'll build on that after week one, and I think they'll continue to get better. They're, they're a team to think about uh, for contenders in the KMAC this year. Yeah, defending champs 10 straight now in the regular season. 34-7 the final. Up next for Utica, they host Loudonville on the 25th next Friday night. Then for Centerburg, a big one, a big non-conference showdown with the Warriors from Ontario. But that'll wrap things up here from Highland. Want to thank everybody to help make things possible. My color commentator tonight, Ken Parrott, my camera operator, Dalen Gogue, who is already wrapping up things so we can get back to the studio. I want to thank all of our sponsors, Centerberg Point Saber Health, our scoreboard sponsor, Centerberg Respiratory, our MVP sponsor, Webb's Marathon and Automotive, our pregame halftime postgame sponsor, Monarch Title Services, our instant replay sponsor, North Central State College, our commercial sponsor, Knox Community Hospital, a commercial sponsor, Frito Lay, a commercial sponsor as well. I want to thank the folks here at Highland High School for allowing this game to be moved here. I want to thank Centerberg for allowing us to be here as well. And most importantly, we want to thank the OHSA for allowing you to live these streams to you, the fans, live and free. Trojans looking like they're continuing rolling from one year ago. They win it big, 34-7. to For Ken Parrott, I'm Travis Berardi saying so long for now from Marengo. Tune in in about two hours. We'll have night one of the Friday Night Pigskin. But for now, we out. <laughs>